Oh my gosh, looks like Christmas came early. Look at this giant Pepsi Santa. Oh my word, I've only seen him once or twice before. And no, that's not the only one. My goodness, so much to look at. All right, everyone, we are still on the way to Iowa. Hit up another antique store on the way, and this one is packed. So buckle up. Got another fun video planned for you guys. Oh, those. oh, that's really sweet. I do apologize if my filming in this video is a little sporadic. I think there was just so much to look at, like that pink hamper, which I was very, again, tempted to pick up, but I have no room in my car if I'm staying out two weeks sourcing. So, did spot some great Pyrex though, at pretty much collector's prices. I will say this first stop, they had some really fun pieces, but a good majority was collector's prices, which again, I don't ever mind since I am a big vintage collector. It just means I won't be buying for resale, but it's still a win-win in my book. And we found another life, close to life-size Santa. That is if he was a short king. Really fun. This one actually has rooted hair and in really nice shape. No discoloring from what I saw. He's interesting. Hmm. Never seen him before. A lot of bubble bath guys. Cute. goes on. Jeez Louise, it goes on and on and on. I'm in love. That's so cute with the little pixies attached. Very unique. Oh, I love this one. What is it? Oh. Eighteen. He's very cool. Those are really sweet. Oh, 
scary clown. Oh, he's really sweet. 185. Oh my gosh. These are so cool. 40 for a set of three. Not horrible, honestly. Nice sizes. That is a jumbo head face if I've ever seen one. Sweet. Creepies. Oh, I love them. Oh. <laughs> love the little married couple. Ooh. Some vintage Christmas. I will have to say it really showed me some restraint not picking up these blow molds. I thought they were a fantastic price. Unfortunately, I need to upgrade into a bigger car before I do an, my next picking trip because I would have not had much room. Funny enough story, I ended up having to leave a Santa blow mold back behind in Iowa at the BF's house since it didn't fit in my car. But let's just take... A second to look at all of this vintage Christmas. Oh, I love a vendor who keeps it up all year round. And even spotted some vintage Barbie, which clearly I didn't show very well. Also, just found one of my holy grail finds, this little rabbit. It's made of paper mache, I think, or pressed paper. It had a whole set of them, and I have been looking for one of them for ages. This vendor had some great poodle slash other little tiny figurines. I could have spent so much longer in this antique store, but unfortunately, it was closing uh, as I was making my last lap, but still ended up getting a bunch of great vintage for my own personal collection and, of course, resell. But yeah, it just went on and on and on. Ended up picking up, I think, this little squeak girl. But yeah, you'll have to let me know if you saw anything in the background maybe I missed. Uh, I always love to know in the comments. And until the next part.